I think it's important to say that Kanye, the Kanyisa Energy Transition Fund is a continuation of the group's uh, current initiatives within climate finance. It's a amalgamation, if you will, of the best of all worlds within the group, strong origination capabilities on the one hand through the bank and strong portfolio management and asset management capabilities on the other hand with us as well. Collectively, we are a big participant across all rounds within the renewable energy space. And this is a furtherance and in fact a deepening of our role within this climate finance space. The second part to highlight really is that a fund like this allows us to pool capital so that we can introduce and formalize in a very systemic way um, pension fund capital, DFI capital, and other institutional forms of capital, giving life to REG28, but also in furtherance of various climate initiatives as outlined in COP27. I mean, there's dedicated what we call nationally determined uh, conditions that need to be met by 2030 in the first instance and by 2050 within a JET formulation. And this fund here enables us to target those initiatives and help investors alongside with our, uh, with, within, with our partners within the group to fulfill um, those various JET and COP27 initiatives, including the UN SDGs as well. So we're quite excited about it, and we see it as an ability to scale, and we see it as, as an ability to introduce investors to come along the journey with us. This is the first credit fund in South Africa dedicated to, the, to energy transition assets. So I think in that sense, it's a very unique um, opportunity for investors to come into, into this enormous theme. It's an enormous investment theme, not only in South Africa, but globally too. <coughs> we do have an interesting fund proposition that allows for different classes of investors to come into the fund. Um, <coughs> these classes of, of investment offerings, effectively, will be tailor-made for different risk appetite and, and return profiles. So, so again, a, a very unique feature of the fund that will hopefully broaden the, um, the attractiveness of the fund for the investor community that we're looking to position the fund for. We've been um, very closely involved with the sector predominantly um, uh, in SA for over 10 years now. Um, originated, structured, and actively distributed um, well over 50 billion rand worth of renewable energy assets. And at the same time, you know, we come to a place now where there is a whole lot of momentum in the sector. Obviously, we know we are in crisis mode in the energy sector in South Africa specifically. But more broadly, um, you know, we live on a continent where transition means a lot more than just changing um, the way we generate electricity. We live on a continent where access to electricity is still a big challenge. Um, we live on a continent where we don't really have um, uh, security of energy in many of the markets within which we operate. And so it became more and more important for us to start thinking um, about uh, creating better alternatives, creating better access, uh, creating ways within which we could mobilize more capital. Ultimately, uh, you know, it's an asset class um, that is not easily accessible for investors on the continent. Uh, and really the idea and thinking around this fund was uh, another avenue to mobilize more liquidity pools, to mobilize more capital, uh, and really for institutions such as the bank with its origination capabilities, and Stan Lib and the team uh, with their fund management capabilities to accelerate the theme. Um, you know, it's a big strategic theme for the group. Uh, it's really important to us in terms of how we think about this continent. Um, and, you know, fundamentally, um, uh, energy sits at the essence of what the group is about. Um, Africa is our home. We drive our growth. Uh, and in order for us to have an impact on economies and growth, we have to find ways to accelerate the sector.